Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Mr. Zabo again. We continue graphing and solving compound inequalities, this time with an OR inequality. Unlike AND inequalities, OR inequalities will only be written in this way. We're only going to have them written with the word OR in between. We'll never have them combined into one inequality. So, we solve these as two separate inequalities. We have our symbols, and we go through the process of solving separately. If I add 11 to both sides and get 4x is less than 7 plus 11 is 18, and then divide both sides by 4, both numbers are positive, so I do not switch my symbol, I get x is less than 9 over 2. Okay, that's an exact decimal, so if you put 4.5, that's okay. It is mandatory that we include the word OR in our solution. Okay. If we don't have the word OR, it's not necessarily correct, so we have to include that word OR. Then we can go through the process of solving the second inequality. Subtract 6 on both sides. Negative 2x. Subtraction, I don't change my symbol. Negative 10. And divide both sides by negative 2. In this case, I divided by a negative. I do switch my symbol. Okay? And it leaves me x is greater than positive 5. So my solution is x is less than 9 over 2 or x is greater than 5. We never combine that. We don't want to write this as greater than 5, less than, or greater than, you know, however we it might even look. We don't want to write this. Okay? We just want to go straight to our graph with an or inequality. 0 and 5. Now, 9 over 2 is 4.5, so that's going to go over here somewhere. And we can just put 4.5 or 9 over 2 on the graph. And we graph them separately, and what we're going to recognize, at 4.5 it'll be an open circle, and I graph this to the left, because 0 is less than 9 over 2, so I graph towards 0. And at 5 it's also an open circle, and I graph this to the right, because 0 is not greater than 5, there is no overlap. So in an OR inequality, this is what our graph looks like. It's the graph of the two inequalities on the same number line. There is no overlap. That is our solution in the graph of our solution.